Hi, this is Pat Love from Love Healing Hearts. I had a very strange dream last night, and I want to share it with you guys. I want you to tell me what you think. This is really weird. It was very, very real, very vivid. Everything was in color, which isn't un unnatural for me because I am a dreamer. But this one was just kind of a weird dream. Eerie. Okay, and I found it strange after I woke up because in the dream, for some reason, I wasn't bothered until the very end. Listen to this. I was in a room. It was supposedly my house. And see, I don't know if this is for someone else. So let me say this before I start the dream. If any of you have a habit of letting people come and go in your house, be careful to keep your door locked because in this dream, something was getting ready to go down and I woke up in time. So listen, I had a friend in the house with me. This was a male who I used to date decades ago. And this was bizarre. I don't know why he was there visiting, but he was giving me a hug. And I remembered I felt absolutely nothing. It was just like a total, it was actually less than I would have felt if a total stranger had hugged me. Now, that was weird. Number two, he looked troubled and worried. And I asked him what was wrong and it startled him. That was weird as well. Um, number three, all of a sudden, these men, now number one, the furniture was nothing like my taste. The room was not the way I would have had it designed. But let me tell you, there was a long front window, and I think there were two side windows to the living room. And there was a couch in front of the two side windows. I don't remember about the front. And here's another thing. The kitchen was very narrow, like a little galley kitchen. It was very small, almost apartment size, even though it was a house. Okay, now, I noticed um, these two guys came walking in the house. Now, I don't know why in the dream I didn't pay it any attention. It seemed like it was normal for people to come in and out of my house without knocking. And I thought it was the guy that lived in the back house because he always wore these crazy curls hanging in his face. Weird. Well, the guy's hat fell off and the, it was a hairpiece stuck up under his hat. And it was a young guy, two young guys. And I thought that was weird. I said, uh, now this is in the dream, I'm real friendly. Hi, you guys, how you doing? I thought you were Mr. So-and-so. Now what was bizarre was they went Past us. They never said hello. That would never have happened in real life. Not with me. <laughs> but they never said hello. They just walked in, headed straight past us to get to the coffee pot. And when they went to the coffee pot, the other guy, it was two of them, the other guy came back out of the kitchen and went to the window. There were gold curtains, gold colored curtains, short curtains, I believe. Were they short or long? I can't remember that. But they were gold in color. And the guy went and pulled them both, closed the curtains. And I noticed that and I said, uh-uh, that doesn't look right. And then he went over to the other two windows and closed those curtains. And when he was starting to close the, go over to the, to the second window, I headed straight to the front door and I, and I hollered, so-and-so, help me take the garbage out. That was just my way of faking like I was going out and I'm coming back in. Well, there were two cars parked in front of my house. One, the motor was running, real long car, old car, you could tell. The motor was running. I think it was a station wagon, I'm not sure, but it was a long car long old car like in the 70s or 60s and the motor was running the car behind was just a woman who was getting i mean there was a driver behind that car the other car there was a woman 
getting in a car and I hollered, oh, hi, how you doing? Haven't seen you for a long time. I'm faking. And she looks up at me. She doesn't know me, but she's trying to play with it. And, uh, and I said, you can go on and get in your car. And I said, how you been doing? And I ducked my head in the window. I said, call 911. I think these guys are going to rip off my house. Well, I left because she was fiddling. I said, oh, don't worry about it. There seemed to be some kind of a storefront next door on my right. And I dashed over to that, walked in the door, locked it behind me, and asked them real quick, could you call 911? I think some guys are trying to rip off my house. Now, the strange thing was my so-called friend never did come out. So I wondered after I woke up, if he was in cahoots with the two guys to rip me off. And I say that to say this, I don't know people like that because I, I live in a senior place. I, you know, I don't have kids, I don't have a lot of young people around me, so I, I don't know. But if you have a lot of young people around you, take this into consideration now. Think about this, okay. You don't want to let this just slide by and say, oh, she had a dream. But if you're one of those people that let young adults come in and out of your house, nobody has to knock. You're just open to the neighborhood. Stop it. I believe that it's a warning dream for somebody who could be setting themselves up to be ripped off and even possibly hurt and if i were you i would start locking my door and if you see somebody coming in with some weird get up that you know they don't look normal or you don't know them and they're acting like they're somebody else's friend don't let them in just say oh this is a bad time i'll tell them that you called or something but don't open the door don't crack the door talk through the locked door now it may not be anything and that's okay but i'd rather put this video out in case it is getting ready to go down and in case you are that type of person that's so hospitable that your door is open to the whole neighborhood be careful and that's all I want to say. I believe it's a warning dream because it was like whoever I was in that dream, I was totally oblivious to anybody thinking of doing me any harm until those curtains started closing. These guys didn't even know me and they're closing my curtains. Think about that. Think about that now. Okay. God bless you.